<laughs> it's a swerve. Instead of going back into the vintage collection, we are going to focus on Justin Jackson. Why Justin Jackson? Because if you recall a month ago, I started talking about why Justin Jackson should be a starter for the Mavericks in this coming season. Everyone wants to try and pencil in Dorian Finney-Smith or even Tim Hardaway Jr. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying that they're not correct. Now, I wrote this article a month ago. About a week later, I saw a, a few tweets here and there popping up talking about Justin Jackson adding roughly 20 pounds of muscle and how hard he's worked throughout the offseason, how the Mavericks coaching staff has been very pleased with his development, his continued development. And then... Yesterday, I saw an article on The Athletic from Jake Kemp of The Ticket, basically making the same argument I made, although he had, I'll admit, some additional good context behind it that I did not consider, a couple advanced stats that I did not have at my disposal. Therefore, well done. Tip of the cap to you, sir. I wanted to focus on Justin Jackson because... I think we're sleeping on Justin Jackson a little bit. So this actually comes together from Free Dawkins giving us this collection here. This is not SB Nation and Maps Moneyball. Salute to you guys, though. You are my vintage collection machine. That sounds a little suspect, but that's all right. We're going to focus today on Free Dawkins and Justin Jackson. So without further ado, let's get it. Mavericks won the game at Oklahoma City, 106-103 yesterday. Talking about the previous game. And another playoff bound team is 76ers. The the Philadelphia 76ers All right. American Airlines Center. Oh, Dirk and his goat, team, his goatness in his final game. season. Justin Jackson spot up three off the screen. Boom! Justin Jackson shot 37% from three last year with Dallas in his 29 games with the team, I believe it was. No, no, no. Oof! In his time uh, with Sacramento I, I, last year, he, she shot about 36%. And that, that's the big difference between him and Finney Smith. Finney Smith's yeah. best year is like 30% as a three-point shooter. I think 29, roughly. So it, it's night and day, them offensively. They're both 6'8". They both have 6'11 wingspans. The drop-off defensively in terms of points per possession is not as dramatic as you would think. So there's a lot of reasons to look at Justin Jackson as a better option for the Mavericks offense uh, in the starting lineup. Good setup there for Salah. I like this. Justin Jackson. Plus, if Justin Jackson's... Ooh, nice move. If Justin Jackson is in the starting lineup, that gives you Luka Doncic at 77, DeLon Wright at 55, Justin Jackson at 44. The duplicate number brigade needs to be a thing. I mean, we've already got two, but you're not a brigade with two. I mean, technically, you're just a trio even then, but I digress. Maybe Kristaps needs to be 66. Justin Jackson with a deep three. Justin Jackson played three years at North Carolina, was the ACC Player of the Year his last year, and shot 37% even then. There he is in transition, getting Dorian the ball. Um, shot 37% even then. Even then shot 37% in uh, North Carolina his final year. So we have a lot to suggest that he can continue playing at or even maybe step just a little beyond the already quality three-point shooter that he is. You know, he's in that good to very good range. Uh, not in that elite circle that, like, Seth Curry is in, but compare it to Dodo, and it's not even a challenge. Hell, consider the super slow setup for Sala, but he knocks it down. All right, so that was a very quick, <laughs> very quick clip here. But uh, look at it this way. Um, as I start to lose my train of thought, Tim Hardaway Jr., he's in like his seventh NBA season, and his best three-point season in terms of percentage was like 35%. Um, every other season, he's been somewhere in the 33, 34 range. He's, he's an average three-point shooter. Justin Jackson has been able to elevate just beyond that, and he can give you more defensively and in terms of length and I don't know so much about athleticism. He's not the most athletic guy, but he has a very good understanding of where he needs to be and how he needs to play uh, off the ball and all that. So I see a lot of potential with him. And frankly, I think his ceiling is higher than you would have with Dorian or certainly than Tim Hardaway Jr. But I digress. I'm, at, I'm back into the wilderness talking about my article and uh, some of the points that even Jake Kemp made in his article. But 
I, I think that there's a high cap here. This was a 24 point game with six boards and three assists for Justin Jackson. This is a quality performance from Justin. And I don't, while I don't think you're going to get 13 points a game out of him if he's a starter for you, because just there's not, I don't think that many shots to go around. I do think that he gives you a dynamic that is better than your alternative options. I think Seth Curry still makes more sense coming off the bench. But Justin Jackson, I think, adds a lot to your lineup. If you were to run a DeLon Wright, Luka Doncic, uh, Justin Jackson, Kristaps Porzingis, and probably Dwight Powell lineup, I think that is probably your default kind of lineup in this case. I think your best lineup. But we know how Carlisle is. He's a little bit of a mad scientist. Depending on the matchups night to night, you're going to see any different number of combinations, not just in the starting lineup, but in the closing lineup and situational thing, different rotations. You're going to see all kinds of different things. So you'll see him playing in a number of different situations. But I think, at least in terms of penciling his name in, he makes a lot of sense as a starter. And uh, I will I will die on this hill. I will die on this hill. I, I if I'm If I end up being right, hey, I don't know that I'm the first one who said it, but I know I wasn't too far away, and I wrote an article breaking it down and basically making the argument for it a month before I saw anyone else talking about it or heard anyone talking about it. So this is one of those things. If I get right, I, w- I want a little bit of credit for it, but it is what it is. So uh, let me know in the comments. Do you think Justin Jackson should be a everyday starter or a regular starter for the Mavericks? He saw 13 points a game when he was inserted into the starting lineup last year. That was kind of what I was mentioning earlier with that number. I don't think if he was a starter this year that he would have the same thing, obviously. But I think that he adds a lot more to us. So if you don't think it's Justin Jackson, let me know in the comments who should be the the final starter for the Mavericks in their starting lineup. Or are you on the are you on the page with me and Justin Jackson? Let me know. But until next time, remember... Every legend was once a prospect. Salute.